you are your, your worth to the company is your quota. Did you help your fellow sellers today learn about um, competition and, and understand how to position against a new competitive offering? Yeah, but what did you sell this quarter, Patrick? Did you um, spend some time perfecting the deck and really getting a, a provocative messaging in place that's, that's helping identify the right ICP buyers and, um, and getting a, a slightly quicker result uh, because of it, a higher slightly win rate? Yeah, but what did you close this quarter, Patrick? <laughs> like it always goes back to what you've closed. So, you know, we have to have a podcast now about detaching outcomes because we're bombarded and saturated with, with what we're producing at all times. Yeah. And I'm curious to you, like, what does that actually feel like from a rep perspective? It kind of feels like I did a post recently that to give an analogies because I kept thinking about that. I was like, how do I describe this to somebody who's never been in sales? What do I tell somebody that's never like my parents, they've never, they've never been in sales. How do I, how do I explain to them how frustrating it is to have a quota over your neck all the time, like over your back all the time. You're carrying this bag baggage. Um, these are analogies that came up. It's sort of like telling a student you're as smart as your GPA. Like that, like you're as smart as your GPA. If your GPA is a 4.0, you're a very smart kid. And if you have a bad GPA, you're stupid. It's like, we would never tell that to students because we know the GPA is not a measure of intelligence. It's a measure of academics. Now, being an academic helps you be intelligent, but we know there are many people who are not academics or haven't followed a traditional path of academics that are still extremely intelligent. In fact, some of the smartest minds in science have gone on that path, right? We all know Albert Einstein, for example. So there's like, there's many examples that we know that's simply not true. Um, but that's sort of what it's like. It's like being told you're worth what your quota is, what your quota achievement is. That's what you're worth to us. That's the number. And it's like, well, no, I'm not. I'm worth so much more. I know that. I know I'm more than just a quota. Nobody wants to be defined. Like there's no, there's no person that stands up and say, I want to be defined as a number today. <laughs> You know, put me in a category, please. I need some of that. That's, that's not how we think. That's not, that's not how we are intrinsically motivated. That's not how we function as human beings. And that's not mentally healthy. 